In this video, I'd like to use a very simple feedback patch to talk about the various things we can do in the feedback path. So I'm going to make a very simple patch here um, and take a signal from an oscillator and put it into the carrier input of the ring modulator and then take the output of the ring modulator and put that into the other input. and but take that feedback path and just kind of play with the various different um, components we can throw in there. So if I just start with a sine wave from the PCO and put that into the carrier input, and then I'll take the output of the ring modulator and go to the output here, and I'll take the output of the ring modulator and throw that back into the signal input. So here we're just getting the ring modulator uh, output modulating the initial input. And so we're getting this sort of feeding pattern uh, based on the sine wave. So the first thing we can do is introduce things like phase shifts. So I'll take the output of the ring modulator and go to the input of the variable Q filter. Now the fun thing about that is that these four outputs of the variable Q filter are all phase shifted by 90 degrees from each other. So if I take, let's say, the low, out, low pass output and put that into the input of the ring modulator and play with the frequency, then with the low pass output I get one pattern. The band pass, I get another pattern. It's very low, though. The high pass. So some of these phase shifts are going to result in a lot of cancellation, and others less so. But one fun thing we can do is increase the resonance and really start to introduce a lot of new signals into the ring modulator via this feedback path. And playing with the frequency and the amount of resonance, we can get very interesting results. That's from the high pass output, from the band pass, and from the non and from the low pass rather. Another thing we can do to increase to um, alter the feedback path to get more interesting results out of the ring modulator is to send one of these outputs into the resonant equalizer and take the output there and go into the input. And again, we can play I'm going to just modulate this frequency cutoff via a looping slope generator just to start sweeping through these and as with the uh, previous video on feedback we see that some of these some parts of uh, where we're sweeping the filter result in really lo in much louder interference than others. So we can, again, use the idea of envelope following, this time to put a compressor in the feedback path. Um, last time we were basically doing compression for control voltages, and this time we'll do control voltage in the audio feedback path. 
And of course, the nice thing about the surge um, is that the difference between control voltages and audio signals is a question purely of the frequency range. So what we're doing is basically the same thing that we were doing last time. So we'll take this output and I'm going to run the output from the Resi Q into the smooth generator, which I'll be using basically as a low pass gate or a, or a voltage controlled amplifier and take the output of that and go into the input of the ring modulator. And so you can see the amplitude of the signal with the LED in, in the smooth generator. And I can also take this and go into a slope generator. Again, a very tight rise and a variable fall. And use that through a CV processor to take this positive going signal and turn it negative. And use that to adjust the amount of compression. Also, like we used last time with the wave multipliers, start to add a little more chaos than this, because sweeping this frequency knob like this, with this um, simple looping envelope is maybe less interesting than some of the other things we could do. So let's go back to the wave multipliers, this sort of feedback wave multiplier chaotic patch we used last time, linking the output of the bottom to the input of the middle and the output of the middle back into the uh, input of the bottom. And what we can do is take that and run that signal into the cutoff of the variable Q filter. take maybe the um, the original sine wave and use that to modulate this wave multiplier feedback. What we could also do is instead of taking this chaotic also use that output to modulate the frequency of the oscillator we're using. <laughs> low sound.
So again, all we've really done is played with this patch. Um, we've changed a lot of what's going on in the frequent in the feedback path and added a whole lot of things. And in the next video, I'll keep to this same basic patch of essentially just a ring modulator feedback patch, um, but building all sorts of different things in the feedback loop. And I'll, uh, in the next video, play with some more um, elements we can add to the feedback uh, path, including reverb and uh, some other things. Thanks.